Want to secure your crypto against hackers? In this video, we will look at how to store safely your planet and how to stake in the HODLer program using a ledger. Coming right up! Not your keys, not your coins. Unfortunately, too many people found out the hard way, especially with FTX. Basically, it's not a good practice to let your coins in exchanges as you have no direct control over them at that moment. Now, I use Binance and Bitfinex very often and I'm happy with their services. That's why I have affiliate links to them. But a good practice is to keep your token secure and when you want to make a trade, move them to an exchange. Do your trade and then move them back in your secure wallet. And the most secure wallet are hardware ones. Like the ledger. Basically, you need access to this device, the password set on it, and approval on the device for each transaction. That is why even if someone can steal or hack your computer, they still can get your coins. Before going into actual steps, my recommendation is to buy yours from the official site only. If you buy them from other sources, you risk buying a tempered ledger and lose your coins. The most basic one will do the job. Currently Ledger Nano S+. If you think this tutorial is useful, if you want to support my work, you can buy your ledger using my affiliate link down below. And if you use my link, you can claim $10 worth of Bitcoin. So it's a win-win situation. I will not show you in detail steps into initializing your ledger as each version has slightly different steps, but also because the Ledger Live app will give step-by-step -step instructions for your specific device. Link to Ledger Live in the description of the video. So how can we add Planet to Ledger? Well, first we need to go to Ledger Live app to my ledger and in the window search, search and install the Algorand app. Once that is done, click on add account in order to create one. Just follow the steps in the app for your device. My only suggestion here is to give a meaningful name. Like with my algo and para wallet, we must first transfer at least one algo in this newly created wallet. We need this in order to enable assets in this wallet. To find out the address of our new wallet, click on accounts and select it from your list. Click on the receive button and follow the instructions from the pop-up until you see the address. Click on the copy button and use it. So transfer algos from an exchange, another wallet you own or ask a friend to send one algo to you. Once you completed this transfer, we proceed to enable planets on this wallet. To do that, just click on the account, select your wallet, and if you have any algos in it, you will see this Add ASA button. Click on it and search for planet. Confirm with your device the new asset. At this point, you can transfer your planets to this ledger, protected wallet, and you are as safe as it can be. And remember, each time you want to find the address of your ledger wallet, select it and click on receive. So how can we go even further and participate in the Holler program staking with a ledger wallet? For that, we will need a few more steps. My first suggestion is to have at least two ledger wallets for your planet. One for storing them and one dedicated for staking. Why this approach? Because staking program absolutely requires to have the amount of planets for your staking setup. If a sensor goes offline, this is not something that depends on you, so you will get your bonus for the rest of the sensors. But if you have a negative balance on the staking of even one planet, you will get zero planets as bonus, because this is 100% in your control. That's why having a dedicated ledger wallet that you use for staking only 
in a set it and forget it manner is a good approach. So go to myalgo.com and log in in your account. Here click on add account and choose Ledger Nano. Before going further, make sure that you have your ledger connected to your computer, unlocked it using the password on it and have the ledger live app closed and the Algorand app open. We can't have two applications trying to communicate with the device in the same time. So if you want to use it in my algo, we need to have the ledger live closed. So once we click on Ledger Nano, a pop-up will appear and we need to select our device connected. We will select what wallets we want to import from the ledger and click on Access Account. I think it's a good practice to rename your imported wallet and give it a meaningful name. Now we are ready for the holder program. So go to explore.planetwatch.io and log in using your credentials. Then under menu select my wallets. Here click on connect wallet, open my algo wallet and under the list of wallets select the ledger staking wallet that we previously imported. Then click on sign in transactions, open the Algorand app and approve the transaction on the ledger itself. Now that we connected the wallet, we need to select it as the staking wallet. To do that, click on choose staking wallet, select the check mark next to it, next to this ledger wallet and then click on confirm staking wallet. And for the last big step under menu, select holder program. If you have already set up the holder program with the sensors and the tiers, and just wanted to change the staking wallet to a ledger based one, verify if your balance difference is positive and that's it. If not, transfer your planets to the ledger wallet. But if you didn't do the setup for the program, I have a dedicated tutorial where I go into each option and also best practices. Links will be in the top right corner of the video and in description below. I will change my staking setup so I will click add modify. In this window I will select my participating sensors and click next. Then I'm going to select for each sensor the tier and watch the right calculator for the summary of the required planets. Once I finish this process I will click on confirm and check that my balance is positive. We are done. That's it for this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. Until next time, see ya!